Hi, this is Ms. B, and this week I'm in beautiful Malibu, California. And I figured it would be a great time to talk about what to look for in a sunscreen. But I don't need sunscreen, summer's almost over, you say. Oh, contraire, my dears. Sunscreen is a year-round thing, and I can't think of a better thing to discuss while I'm chillaxing on this beach. There are two types of UV radiation, UVA and UVB, and you need to make sure your sunscreen protects you against both. UVB rays are the primary cause of the classic sunburn, and in order to fight it, you need to make sure you have these ingredients. UVA rays penetrate the skin deeper, and they are the primary cause of cancer. There are only two good UVA filters on the market that are approved by the FDA, and it's these. You're gonna to wanna to look for the words broad spectrum on the bottle. This will cover both UVA and UVB. If it doesn't have the word broad spectrum, this means it's only measuring UVB, and that only tells you part of the story. SPF stands for sun protection factor, and it's a measurement of how long it takes you to get burned in comparison to wearing no sunscreen at all. Sunscreens with higher SPFs offer better protection to a certain point. After SPF 30, protection doesn't increase much at all. An SPF of 15 filters 93% of the sun's UV rays. An SPF of 30 filters only 97%. And once you hit 50, it only filters 98%. That's only 1% more. At that amount, you're not getting much more protection or bang for your buck. Whether you plan to frolic in the water or sweat it out in the sand, you don't want your sunscreen washing off with a little water. That's why you need a sunscreen with water resistance. This includes silicones like dimethicone or cyclomethicone. Hey, what about ice cream cones? The FDA says the right amount of sunscreen is two milligrams per square centimeter of skin. The surface area of a humanoid like yourself is about 18,000 square centimeters for men and 16,000 square centimeters for women. Multiply that times two and you get 36 milligrams or the equivalent of one shot glass. Bottoms up. Now a bottle like this equals two shot glasses. And I don't know about you, but I'm hoping to get more than two applications out of my sunscreen. So hopefully scientists can come up with better sunscreen technologies. In the meantime, try to apply the required amount, even though it might seem a little impractical. To recap, get a broad spectrum sunscreen that's water resistant with an SPF of 30 and reapply liberally. Now if you wanna find more sun protection tips, then check out the description below. And if you wanna see more science and videos just like this one, be sure to subscribe to Ms. Beautiful. Thanks for watching. This is Ms. Beautiful signing out from the salty shores of the Pacific.